up Duong Mong Airport. Well, as usual, I am late to catch the train when I am going to Dong Wong Airport, but we've made it. First of all, guys, good morning and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. So today I'm gonna give you some important tips that you might consider if you are coming to Thailand soon, and I mean from August, September and the beginning of October. But first of all, let's go to Dong Wong Airport. I'm traveling today to a beautiful destination and along the way we are going to talk about the latest updates from Thailand and of course about the topic of today. Let's go! So my friends, as an information, now I am at Dong Wong Airport Station. I have arrived here from Wangsu Station. So if you are going to use the system, it's so fast and so cheap. It costed only 33 baht from Wangsu Station to Dong Wong Airport but you have to walk a lot so if you have lots of luggage then it's better to use the taxi but if you are a light traveler like me then no problem this system is so fast and so cheap now let's go to the airport check our flight and after that start our today's flight So here we are guys, this is the third floor, let's check our flight, lots of knock air, flights cancelled but we are flying today with Air Asia 1615, Chiang Mai and a row 910, let's go! Well, this is it, Air Asia. Let's check in and see you after that. Well, that was a smooth check in. We still got two hours to catch our flight, so we have time to do the vlog. And moreover, to eat some food, the prices in this airport are so cheap. If you want to eat, drink local food, international food, and moreover, coffee or anything else. So, let's start our today's vlog. Well, as you can see, the airport is not that much busy, although we are in weekend now. But the first reason that I'm gonna tell you is that we are in rainy season and low season. This thing is messing everything and almost every day. So this is one of the reasons that you might consider if you are coming to Thailand nowadays and especially from August to September and the beginning of October. So let's talk about this point. It's low season and the rainiest season in Thailand now. The weather is crazy and it rains almost every day. Now I am not here to tell you that if you are coming to Thailand soon, your vacation will be a mess although it could be but sharing with you my experience so that you will know what to expect once you arrive to thailand for example this is what happens sometimes once i am out vlogging so my friends as you can see the weather is so crazy it's raining heavily so i'm gonna show you something that you can do for free but in a closed place and you can avoid the rain let's walk to the mrt before things get crazier as you see, it's really hard to enjoy your times, especially when it rains heavily. And moreover, if it goes for a couple of hours, then you will see and explore new floating roads and markets. Well, that's the fun part. But again, I am here to tell you what's the situation and not to make you change your dates. So after all, it's up to you. The second reason is that most of the parks, the national parks and the beautiful places are closed these days because we are in low season. So that's another point that you have to take into consideration if you are coming to Thailand very soon. Now most of the famous spots, national parks and beautiful nature wonders are all in pause. You can visit some of them which are still open partially and enjoy as much as it's possible. But to have the full experience, well, it's not the season.
Maya Bay, the most beautiful among the islands, is closed now for rehabilitation. And of course because it's low season. And many like Maya Bay waterfalls and parks are partially closed. So you can check the available ones, but you might miss the best. Well, the third reason is that if you love to spend your time at the islands and you love island hopping, then this is not a good time. Because most of the trips that you are going to do with boats, then it will be a harsh trip. The islands are not in a better situation. Besides the rain, the boat trips and islands hopping are all under the mercy of the monsoon season. So if you are like me, don't care about the weather, rain or sun, you will jump up into the boat and enjoy the roof bumpy rides. Then why not go for it? Many trips are cancelled daily cause it's too risky to be out there in the water. And staying in the island will not be fun when the weather is crazy. So take all this into consideration before you are in such tropical destinations. Well, planning and scheduling these days in Thailand will never work with you. Again, because of the weather. Imagine you are going to visit a night market and you are so excited to visit many interesting places and because of the rain, all these markets closed. Forget planning and making schedules what to do every day or where to go, what to see. No, don't do that because it will not work in this season. Who knows when it will rain or not. So for example, the markets, the street food, the night markets are all paralyzed once the heavy rain starts. So you won't even make to the public transportation. Unless you want to have some showers along the way. So what's the use of planning and scheduling in the low season? Just wake up, open the curtains and check if you want to go out and don't forget to take your umbrella with you. Well, although most of the hotels are making promotions these days, but once you stay there, you will feel that the ambience is so boring. Last week, I said the hotels are so cheap these days because it's rainy season. And I love it because I'm staying in 5-star hotels, reviewing as many as I can and also enjoying the breakfast. Cool, right? Well, not that much. Cause the ambience is so boring. Wherever you stay these days, you will spend most of your time in the hotel room. Hoping that you can go out and enjoy your time if it doesn't rain. Well, the nightlife as usual is on and off and they are still thinking to open it till 4 a.m. in the morning. But most of the entertainment places take breaks these days because of the low season. Of course, you saw the nightlife vlog that I have uploaded recently. If not, then go check it. The nightlife is on and things are much better, but still things on and off and they close at 2 a.m. So if you are looking for the full action, then it's not the time cause most of the main entertainment venues are still not ready yet till the high season comes. So if it's okay with you, then go for it. If not, you better wait. Well, another reason guys that you still have to wear the mask in some places as the public transportation. So it's very annoying to wear the mask in this weather. And I guess that in a couple of months, things will be much more better. Putting the mask was finally removed from obligatory into let's say up to. But you still have to wear it in many places like the public transportation. Now again, it's up to. But you have to. 
That's so annoying especially when it's so humid, hot and rains. And I think it will be better in the coming months. And when high season comes, maybe then you might not wear it anywhere or anymore. Well, now we are wondering if this is not the best time, then when is the best time to visit Thailand? I'm gonna tell you that starting from mid-October, things get much better concerning the weather. So if you want to enjoy Thailand for the maximum, then you can travel starting from mid-October till February. That's the high season. But my friends, if you don't have any problem with the reasons that I have mentioned in today's vlog, then no worries, come and enjoy your vacation in Thailand, even in the rainy season. High season is not so far, and in two months it will be the best weather and season in Thailand. So if you are not in a hurry, then wait for it, and you will enjoy your vacation 24 over 7. But if you have to come now, then you might enjoy and might not. So it's all up to you. So guys, now I have to catch my flight, almost time, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about some of the reasons if you want to enjoy Thailand to the maximum, then this is not the best time. But if you don't have any problems with the reasons that I have mentioned, then no problem, welcome, see you in Thailand. And I am going to catch my flight now. So let me go and catch my flight, thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.